Uh, specifically speaking to ICE, this is an organization that has not even existed for 20 years. If they are not doing everything they can do to treat folks with dignity, respect, we get rid of them. Uh, I think you haul the folks in, you put them in front of those questions, but you don't be naive about the fact that they don't know what they're doing. They're intentionally intimidating folks, and if you cannot understand the narrative of immigration, you must understand the narrative of separation. Any community in this country knows that it's not right to take children away from mothers or their families. And each and every day as a congressperson, I will keep the family at the core of my conversation. We can't give up the moral high ground in our country. Too many of our veterans, think about all the people that lost their lives in, in World War II, trying to build up that moral high ground for our country. What we need to do is we need a bipartisan solution to immigration. It is too big. We are being watched by every country around the world to see how we handle this issue. This is, this is the way that we were built. Immigration is too important to our country, it's too important to our economy, and it's extremely important to the state of Michigan and the, re, and the comeback of Detroit. And the pathway to citizenship is a must. We are now talking about walls instead of families. Uh, we're talking about division instead of bringing people together and looking at the tremendous asset of our immigration system uh, it, when it works well. I love that I grew up in a community with 20 different ethnicities and, and Southwest Detroit. That is what makes America great, and I hope to strive and to use my own personal story to get people to wake up to understand this broken immigration system needs to be fixed immediately so that and we that can put time. families together. And we should not be locking up our children. If we're not going to protect the children, if we're not going to protect our babies, why are we in public office to begin with? Our children deserve better. America is better. And when I'm a congressman, I will fight and stand for the ideals of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I will say this. I mean, this is a country of laws. And so we do need to make sure that we have a comprehensive immigration plan that addresses and, and, and protects and respects our laws while balancing humanity and recognizing that all of us are immigrants, whether we were brought to these shores in chains uh, or if, if we came here voluntarily. And so, yes, there should be a fair policy. And what is going on now, it should not be going on. There is border control, who I believe that can handle the situations that are going on now. And so if ICE is there, the policies need to be mandated 